use the Marvin, whoops, use the Marvin's theorem to solve this equation and write the answer in the form of a plus bi. And we have to use the Marvin's. Okay, I think I'm going to make more space here, but um, I think I'm okay for this. Off now. Uh, right, the Marvin's theorem. So I'm going to have to write this in polar form first. Uh, this number here so minus one plus root three so that would be like there um, okay so this length here is one and this length here is root three so i can easily get that angle as a tan inverse root three which you know what i'm going to use degrees which is 60 degrees so that means the angle i want the argument is 120 degrees and then I can also calculate so that's the theta and I can calculate the or as the modulus so that would be root minus one squared plus root three squared so that's two so in polar form w squared would be two cos 120 degrees plus i sine 120 degrees I left space on a purpose. So 2 cos 120 is minus 1, and 2 sine 120 is root 3. But in general polar form, what I can do is add on 360 degrees times n. And then De Morvum said uh, to root that, you would root this, and you would root this, but the, the half goes in as a multiplication on the angle. So you'd get W would equal root two cos 60 degrees plus 180 degrees times N plus I sine 60 degrees plus 180 degrees times N. So the first answer W zero is just when um, N is zero. So that would be root two times a half, and then sine 60 is root 3 over 2. So that would be root 2 over 2 plus uh, root 6 over 2 i. And then w1, well, that's just n is 1. Um, and uh, it should just be the negative of that answer root 2 times minus a half plus i and then uh, sine uh, 60 plus 180 is minus yeah uh, minus root 3 over 2 so that's minus root 2 over 2 minus i times root 6 over 2 so that looks like uh, the two answers there um, or if you prefer, you can just say it's plus or minus root two over two plus i times root six over two. Or if you want to be picky about it, put the i at the back to match it up exactly with what they want. Well, I don't very much they care about that. Um, okay, um, that's the B one. Uh, Argan diagram. Um, so is it just to describe what happens when you multiply by i and then conjugate it um, and draw it on the graph? I know multiplying by i rotates it 90 degrees anti-clockwise. Okay, let's clear this off. So maybe we want to do a Google Translate here to be safe. Okay, interestingly, I, I assumed it would want it marked. Maybe that's the next part. Oh, yep, yeah, okay. And then describe what the transformation U to IU conjugate is, I'm guessing.
but don't really talk about translation. Okay. Right, so let, let's start now with the uh, first part, which is just the IU. So IU would be I times A plus BI, which would be AI plus BI squared, which would be minus B plus AI. And um, minus B, so you can see B would be at this height. So minus B would be like here. And then um, A is quite small and AI height would be, would be like here. So it'd be like there. And uh, what's actually happening is that this is being rotated 90 degrees anti-clockwise around the origin. And then the next one, I U conjugate would just be positive B minus A I. So um, that would flip over to here. And then that would flip down to here. So that would be there. So uh, this would be where I U is, and this is where I U conjugate is. And then describe the translation IU. So this would be uh, rotate U 90 degrees anti-clockwise around uh, uh, the origin or around uh, 0 plus 0 I. Then um, just is this oh I made a mistake just caught myself the conjugate only changed the sign on the uh, uh, a sorry so in fact it should be here I you conjugate um the B is still negative but now the the a is negative so so okay good thing I caught myself so that's IU and then that's IU conjugate. So then uh, reflect true the real axis. So it's a rotation followed by a reflection straight down uh, through the real axis. Yeah, okay, um, calculate them, plot them, and describe the last transformation. So I, U, just double check, I times A, yeah. And then B, I squared, which is minus B, and then conjugate, only change the sign on the A, and then describe the transformation. Uh, so you take your starting point, U, you rotate at 90 degrees through the or around the origin. Uh, that is anti-clockwise, isn't it? And then reflect through the real axis. Okay. Okay. Hopefully I'm right. I sure hope so. My energy level is depleting as, as the clock ticks by.